Contrary to popular belief, YouTube is for more than watching cat videos. It's also for watching the mass at the shrine that's televised, if you're viewing with us on this fourth Sunday of Lent. But one of my most favorite videos to watch that I find the most heartwarming and eye-opening is when they show someone hearing for the first time. When modern science puts a cochlear implant into someone's head and tunes the frequency for a child or for an adult to be able to hear the voice of the doctor, a family member, a friend, or a loved one. There is so much joy when someone who has not been able to hear is able to hear for the first time. A few years ago, I recounted this in a parish in this area. And after Mass, a man came up to me and said, Father, I work for one of the institutes that helps people to see. And while there is a num tens of thousands of channels that open up when we help to fix someone's hearing, there are hundreds of thousands of more channels that open up in the brain when someone is able to have their sight restored, when they are able to see. I haven't found those videos yet on YouTube, but I hope we are able to see the joy that Jesus brings to this man in the gospel today as he opens to him the path of salvation and he begins to prepare him for something that we haven't seen yet. Our eyes are made to see, our ears are made to hear, hear God's voice and see God face to face. We will see God hidden in, under the form of bread and wine in this Eucharist. But the end of this Lenten journey for us, which is just a few weeks away, is to make sure that nothing gets in the way of you and I being able to see God in eternity with the beatific vision. Notice that the saints are not just going to hear God in heaven, but are going to see God. And so this fourth Sunday of Lent, whether we have trouble hearing or trouble seeing physically, trouble hearing or trouble seeing spiritually, may we meet Jesus and his joy that opens for us the path of salvation to be able to see his action in our lives now and his face forever in heaven.